anticoagulants and the next drug which is very famous called Plavix or Clopidogrel. Clopidogrel is FDA or Food and Drug Administration approved for the medical management of unstable angina, non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, ST segment elevation myocardial infarction in patients receiving fibrinolytic therapy. And for secondary prevention in the recent myocardial infarction, the recent stroke, ischemic of course, and peripheral arterial disease. Food and Drug Association or Food and Drug Administration approved indications for clopidogrel for the following PCI, which is percutaneous coronary intervention for acute coronary syndrome, ACS, and stable ischemic heart disease. For primary prevention of thromboembolism in atrial fibrillation, for symptomatic carotid artery stenosis, internal mostly, for secondary prevention post coronary artery bypass grafting, and for peripheral artery percutaneous angiography in peripheral artery bypass grafting. What is the mechanism of action of clopidogrel? Clopidogrel is an irreversible inhibitor of the platelet P2Y12 adenosine diphosphate receptor. Inhibition of this receptor prevents the downstream activation of the glycoprotein 2B3A receptor complex, which leads to reduced platelet aggregation. Clopidogrel is an inactive drug that requires enzymatic activation via a variety of enzymes, cytochrome, P enzymes, including cytochrome P2C19 uh, and cytochrome P3A4 enzymes, through a two step process of bioactivation. Typically, in a normal metabolizer, the drug has a bioavailability of 50%, with only 15 of an oral dose becoming active via esterase hydrolysis with uh, cytochrome P enzymes. Active clopidogrel inhibits the platelet for the life of the platelets, which is from 7 to 10 days lifetime of the platelet. However, platelet function can begin to return as new platelet, platelets turn over or are synthesized, and a return of full function is often seen by 5 days. Given this factor, clopidogrel, clopidogrel should be held at least five days before any surgical procedure. It should be noted this decision should not occur in isolation, especially in patients who are at high risk, for example, of for example, patients with recent standing for uh, ACS or acute coronary syndrome. These two cytochrome P enzymes are very important as, as many drugs are associated, especially with uh, cytochrome P uh, CA4. About administration of the drug, clopidogrel is only supplied in a tablet formulation and thus all doses are given via an oral route. Doses of clopidogrel can be administered without respect to meals. Due to the dependence of cytochrome P, uh, 2C19 for metabolism for activation, the recommendation is that the administration of agents that inhibit C, uh, cytochrome P, uh, 2C19 metabolism should be avoided, like omeprazole or lansoprazole, which are pump inhibitors. Furthermore, recommendations are to avoid agents that slow down the gastrointestinal motility that can delay absorption like opioids agents in acute setting regarding uh, pregnancy regarding pregnancy a uh, risk factor clopidogrel has a risk factor b classification meaning there is no evidence of the risk but anyway, most of the specialists do not give clopidogrel in pregnant, for pregnant women. Below are the t 
typical dosing regimens for clopidogrel. For example, medical treatment of unstable uh, and STEMI or non-ST elevation myocardial infarction is uh, 300 to 600 mg loading dose followed by 75 mg daily in conjunction with aspirin for up to 12 months for ST elevation myocardial infarction or STEMI 300 ml uh, loading dose followed by 75 mg daily at least 14 days and more of course uh, PCI during acute coronary syndrome or non-acute coronary syndrome loading dose represents 600 mg and followed by 75 mg daily in combination with aspirin for up to 12 months also for peripheral artery percutaneous angioplasty or peripheral artery bypass grafting 75 mg daily for uh, primary prevention of thromboembolism in atrial fibrillation, uh, you can give for patients 75 mg daily also. Symptomatic carotid stenosis, 75 mg daily, and for secondary prevention of coronary artery bypass grafting surgery, as well as a standard of 75 mg daily. And the last line, which represent adverse effects or side effects bleeding is the most common side effect reported and can occur at varying degrees of severity and any side risk factors for bleeding include older uh, age than 75 years recent bleeding event low body weight or use of medications like non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs or agents or warfarin that can increase the risk of bleeding if bleeding should occur, there is benefit or con of continuing therapy should occur with a primary prescriber of the clopidogrel. There is cur currently no reversal agent for clopidogrel therapy, which is very important. Theoretically, exogenous platelet administration could restore homeostasis. However, data exploring the, this strategy as are mixing. The use of platelets should be reversed for only severe life-threatening bleeding. Another uh, side effect could be uh, a rash or pruritus. In cases of mild to moderate hypersensitivity like rash, the patient can receive a course of a steroid bath while maintaining their therapy. Other options to manage uh, these patients or scenarios include desensitization and switching to an alternative agent with a different structure like ticagrelol. Uh, TTP or thrombotic thrombocytopenia, which is very rarely correlating with clopidogrel. A patient who develops TTP or thrombotic thrombocytopenia while on clopidogrel should receive urgent plasma pheresis. And very important to know that Clopidogrel should be monitored, as patients on clopidogrel should have monitoring for signs of bleeding, both visibly and via laboratory testing like hemoglobin and hematocrit levels. About uh, toxicity, overdose following clopidogrel administration may result in bleeding complications, but based on studies or on animals, a single dose of 100 1,500 to 2,000 mg per kilogram was lethal, which is very high doses in comparing to 75 mg uh, as a while. Thank you very much and have a good time, guys.